Hey Adventurers, this is Jerry from Adventures Jerry Lynn. And today I wanted to talk about preparing your vehicle, RV, or car cargo trailer for camping and RV. As you know, many cities and states are slowly starting to open up after being home since March for the stay at home order. And this is the perfect time before you start getting in and just going in your RV and your tow vehicle. You want to make sure you have a checklist. And I got my little list here. So let's get started. All right. Check your gear. So if you're camping, um, a lot of us like to make sure that our um, sleeping bags, our sleeping pad, our tent is still functional, our thermos, our um, lanterns, all these things that we need to make sure bear spray. If you're out somewhere that may uh, have big bear coming towards you, <laughs> uh, you want to make sure that you're prepared and that you're safe. And um, you also want to check your tires. Now we have a dual axle. Um, and the reason why we did that is for safety reasons concerned. Um, two years ago on our main vo voyage in the cargo trailer, we had a flat. I'm sorry, we didn't. <laughs> what am I talking about? We didn't have a flat. The engine <laughs> blew and um, we had to pull over. But what would have happened if one of the tires would have blown? The tires are there for, if you have four of them, you can ease off safely off the highway compared to if you only had the two, then you're just stuck wherever you're at. So make sure you check your tread. Maybe you need to upgrade. Um, if you're going off grid, you want to make sure you have those thick, meaty tires. And you just want to make sure that, you know, your I's are dotted and your T's are crossed. Um, you want to stock up on your food. Um, slowly with all this that's just started with the stay at home, I'm sure like everybody, you stocked up your house. Well, this was a perfect time to also stock up your trailer, RV, or your cargo trailer. Um, you want to make sure that you got plenty of water. And if you have pets, don't forget, get the real big large bag if you can because, I mean, why not? Check your tow vehicle. This is an excellent time right now to make sure before everything just opens up 100% that you get your tow vehicle one that pulls your trailer, your fifth wheel, RV, cargo trailer, um, travel trailer. You want to make sure that you're up to date on your oil changes. You want to make sure that you have a um, your front end alignment. There's a lot. The reason for that, and I wrote this down, so it maximizes the life of your tires. That is so important. Um, you want to make sure that you have good wear. You don't want to be riding on the inside and you're wearing the inside of your tire out or on the outside. You want to have it even so that when you go back in for your oil changes, you can rotate your tires and have your best tires up front. At least that's what my dad always told me. <laughs> okay. Um, propane. You want to make sure that you have your propane. We have two 30 uh, pound propane. You want to make sure those are up and filled. Top them off. Even though you may not have went out that many times last year, this is a perfect time just to go and just top everything off. Top off all your fluids, everything that you need. Um, if you have solar panels like us, we have solar panels. We have 895 watts of solar panel on a cargo trailer. You want to make sure that you know everything's plugged in. You want to make sure that everything's in working order. Test drive, maybe do it, not test drive. Get out in your, uh, your right now we got it car, uh, covered in our carport. But if we pulled it out and just make sure that the charge works and everything, you know, dot your I's, cross your T's on your solar. Um, you know, you don't have to uh, go very far. You can just pull it out in the sun. And we did that several times and we're good to go. Add or upgrade your your utensils. You know, maybe you have all paper plates, maybe you have all plastic, and you want to get rid of your plastic, like a, a lot of people are, the plastic straws and all that stuff, and just go total paper. That's a good idea. So, your utensils, your spatulas, make sure you have all those things. Or if you're like me, you may not have double, some in your house and some in your trailer. Maybe by its own. I mean, you. You can find so many good deals at the Dollar Store or Dollar Tree and things like that. Camp chairs. Now, a lot of times, like a rookie like us two years ago, you get out there and you're like, um, I got seating in the trailer. I got seating in my tow vehicle, but I don't have anything out here that's comfortable. Get you a couple camp chairs. However many people are with you when you go, get your camp chairs. They're very, very uh, cheap. 
I mean, and they're comfortable. We have the kind that kind of flips up that you could put your, uh, like your drink or your plate or whatever you like. Pillows. Oh my God. So last year I had to uh, learn the hard way that the pillow that I bought for us in here is not the one that we use in the house. That's a rookie move. I need good pillows. So make sure you have enough pillows, blankets. <clears throat> Maybe you need to uh, upgrade your sheets. Again, this is a perfect time before everything opens up. I heard a couple uh, campgrounds had opened up and were taking reservations and one particular, I mean, sold out immediately. So it seems like with everybody being bogged in, hunkered down, everybody wants to get out and go camping, which is ideal because what a great way to social distance, you know. Make sure your headlamps, <clears throat> again, if you're a tent, camper, or even if you're not, you know, you may want to walk to the washroom or you're checking on your laundry or what have you, whatever facilities they have. You want to walk the dog because the potty, you know, you got to go potty before we go to bed. So make sure your headlamp, um, you got the batteries for that. Make sure you're, yeah, you're up to date on your batteries, your lantern sleeping pad, all those things, um, your steaks, your coolers. Um, a lot of times the people don't want to use a, uh, a refrigerator like us. We took like a dorm style uh, refrigerator and we put it in the cargo trailer. And that's fine, but a lot of people don't want to do that because maybe they don't have the power or the solar to run that refrigerator. So this is a good time to get one of those uh, real uh, insulated type of uh, coolers. They work just great. Okay. Lights, lighters, trash bags, all these things. Your soap, coffee, your cast iron pan. So if maybe if there's no uh, fire uh, ban, you can have a campfire. And you, <clears throat> the best way to cook is that cast iron skillet. Make sure you have all that stocked. Again, have like a checklist. Go through your home. And what are you, <clears throat> whatever you use in your home to cook, you're going to want it when you go out camping or full-time RVing. Um, clothing, warm and cold. Man, you got to make sure that you have enough clothes. So you leave at 70 degrees, and that's fine and dandy. But usually it drops down to about 30, 40, or 50, and then you're freezing. So if you're taking that puppy dog out for his last time before you guys go to potty, I mean go to bed and he needs to go potty he or she you may have like temperatures that may have dropped 20 30 uh, degrees you want to make sure that you're not dressed for just the temperature that you left maybe you went a um, few hours south or maybe you went up north and those temperatures are going to change whether it's hot or cold make sure you have enough of either one hoodie sweatshirt what have you um, socks too um, flip-flops aren't warm I don't know about you but I can't stand for my my toes to be cold yeah so you want to make sure all that now some places may still want you to have the mask so whether you have your mask your bandana whatever you made homemade or if you bought it make sure you have that as well because again a lot of places may not have uh, you they may have an order that you can't come in unless you have that mask so don't forget that as well because just because you have it here doesn't mean two states over where you drove, maybe they still have that implemented. Um, sunscreen. Got to make sure you have your sunscreen. You want to have that and make sure that everything, your gel, just in case you're out there on that water, you're out there fishing, boating, swimming, that you have that sunscreen and that aloe vera gel just in case. <laughs> in case you get burned, you want to make sure that you have everything you need before you leave rain gear boots poncho laundry bag gym shoes hiking so maybe where you're going is a national park and gym shoes are just not going to cut it you want to make sure you have your good hiking boots on make sure that you're prepared have your poncho wrapped up put it in your fanny pack or whatever how you pack or in your backpack um, make sure that you have that because you know weather changes no matter where you're at well if you're in indiana like me the weather changes quickly all right, you want to make sure you have all your toiletries, your toilet paper, your towels, comb brush, deodorant, toothbrush, paste, first aid kit, fire extinguisher. Make sure you have these items. Again, you can probably go online, have them delivered before 
we get ready and get that first road trip in of 2020, you want to make sure you have your pocket knife because you just never know when you, you need, may need it. Your cell phone charger. Don't forget your chargers. Portable chargers uh, for your tea kettle, for your cell phone, for your laptop. You want to make sure, again, if you don't have solar like we do and you don't have anything to plug in other than your um, in, in your tow vehicle, if you have one of those little portable battery, um, yeah, those chargers come in handy. So yeah, get one of those. Make sure someone knows where you're at at all times. Give them uh, um, their directions. Let someone know where you're at. God forbid anything happens. If you fall, you break your ankle, you can't, you're out of cell phone range. You need to get a hold of somebody. If somebody's like, okay, I haven't heard from Jerry and Robert. Okay, something's going on. I need to send a sheriff, um, a ranger, somebody out there. See where those kids are at. <laughs> And um, you can always do a backyard or driveway camp to make sure your gear works. Now that's what I've been doing lately. Now the past couple of uh, videos back, you saw me, which was a total epic fail. You saw me storm <laughs> trying to um, <laughs> open up that uh, pop-up tent. Man, that was a disaster. I swear it didn't take me that long last time when I did it. I mean, I did it like a minute and a half. Why it took me six, seven minutes this past time, I have no idea, but made great video. Uh, yeah, so the reason why you wanna do a trial in your driveway, in your backyard, while you're at home, practice and make sure that your lantern works, all these things to keep you safe, your lights, maybe your lights, um, one of them broke, and your little uh, string lights, you know, to give your campsite some, you know, nice little mood lighting. Um, you want to make sure all these things are working. Um, yeah, so when you do leave your house, you have confidence that you have worked out all the kinks. And again, if you have pets, don't forget about them. A lot of times we're so excited and we want to like buy everything for our uh, ourselves and our family. But we forget about our friends, our little friends, our little family, our little fur babies. You've got to make sure that you stock up your trailer, your truck, your camp trucker, your uh, truck camper, anything that you're traveling in, make sure you have enough food and water for our family, our four-legged family. And that is it. Let's see. Oh, and here's a bonus. Make sure your spare tire is filled with air. There's nothing like having a flat and there's no air. And if you don't have a, um, an air compressor, a small one that you've taken with you, you want to make sure that you have that extra fuses for your tow vehicle and for your camper because you just never know excuse me and what I've come to figure out or well, find out with my husband that you want to make sure that you have enough not just the red and the blue you want to make sure that you have all the fuses so when you do need them you have them no problem and that's it I want to thank you guys so much for coming back every single Monday I love you family this is one of my favorite things I've ever did is having a YouTube channel and for you guys we see that we're growing I'm just about to hit the door of 20,000 views I wish it was 20,000 subscribers but I'm just like maybe about just under 300 I think of just 300 shy of my 20,000 views so that means you're watching, you're coming back, you're telling your family and your friends, please subscribe. It helps um, grow my channel. Hit that like button, say, uh, say something down in the comments. If I miss something on my list, put it down in my comments and say, hey Jerry, you and Robert need to do such and such X, Y, Z. Cause that helps me because we're all together family and that helps, all right? Well, you take care. We'll get out here soon on the road. I want to make sure that you're safe, that we're safe. God bless everyone that's out here. And um, we love you. And we'll see you out in the open road. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.